there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today is the day we are going to take these bad boys and put them in the freezer. So we're a little bit longer than I wanted to go. We're at nine weeks, um, but I didn't experience any loss this week. I was a little worried that pushing them an extra week was going to result in some more death, um, but none. So very happy. Uh, we'll see how, what they dress out at, but um, it's time to get rocking and rolling. So let's go. Right, so this is kind of our processing area that we've set up down here. We've got the kill cone over on the side of um, the uh, shed there. Uh, we'll scald them here into the plucker. And then uh, our eviscerating table is right here. And then they'll go into the chill tank over there. So uh, we've got the water. Struggled a little bit to get this to the right uh, temperature. Should be between 140, 145. I think I've got a little bit hot. Been trying to get it cooled down. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, hopefully the modifications I've made to the Whizbang Chicken Plucker are uh, going to be successful. And uh, we'll try to get some video of uh, some chickens tumbling around in there and report back to you how that went. But we're going to go ahead and get to processing some chickens today. We've got 16 of them to do up. And hopefully we can do it before uh, the rain sets in. So uh, here we go. So we've gone ahead and uh, this one has uh, been dispatched. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the temperature of the water here and uh, see where we're at. And it looks to me like we're actually really, really good. We're right at about 145, I would say, which is on the, on the high side. But once we uh, start scalding this bird, um, and we're just going to kind of dunk it in here and uh, for a few seconds and then <clears throat> pull it out and then what you want to do is you want to just pull on the, the uh, feathers the wing feathers and uh, when they pull easy that's when you know that your bird is properly scalded and we'll be able to pop it over into the plucker and the other thing as well is when you're using the whiz bang chicken plucker you generally want to have a couple of um yeah, no, this is good. These are, these are pulling, this is pulling really easy here at the wing. So this one's ready to, ready to go. So you generally want to have two birds in there at least um, at the same time as it's spinning around. They're going to bounce off of each other and it's going to help the plucking process. So I'm going to grab another bird and then we'll get going. Here we've got one of our chickens here. This is a nice heavy one. Going to drop it into the plucker here. Turn it on. Here, get up to speed. but it's not anywhere near as bad as what it had been doing. It's a heavier bird, I think. And that's it. Pluck her off. And there's the bird. I got to do a few of the tail feathers, a few of the wings, but other than that, things look good. So... This is actually Bonnie's first time ever participating in this process. Very first time. Very first time, and uh, she's out here plucking some uh, residual feathers that the whiz bang chicken plucker didn't get. Overall though, this thing is working really, really well. And what I have found is that the important thing is making sure that the scald is, is good. And actually, it seems to me that you wanna err on the, the, the low side. Um, if it's too hot, the skin starts tearing. So you want to aim for that 140 to 145, but the first couple of birds I did, because I had it at 150, it was, um, the, the first couple of birds I did, I had it at 150, and so that skin was starting to tear on it. And uh, so I wasn't happy with that. We backed that temperature down, and uh, it's fucking a lot better. Initially, I wasn't sure if it was the plucker or if it was the scald, but it was definitely the scald. The plucker's working great, and uh, so we're going to go ahead. We've got four more to do after these two birds, and then we can wrap it up for today. So in a couple of hours, I've been able to do 16 birds. Very happy with that. And I actually had a friend here, and I was actually showing him how to, uh, to do this process. He was interested in learning, and uh, wasn't interested in being on camera. But uh, he was interested in learning, and uh, so I was very happy to do that. I really, really loved 
trying to share what little bit of knowledge I have with people. And uh, it's something that I really enjoy doing. And so today was definitely an opportunity to do that. Very thankful. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, get these puppies. Uh, well, not puppies. I don't want anybody <laughs> to eat them. I'm not doing puppies. These are chickens. 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 Um, although to you it doesn't matter. But uh, we'll get these uh, chickens wrapped up here. Got them in the chill tank. And then we will package them up and put them in the freezer. But uh, until next time, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, as much as you can enjoy watching chickens tumble around in a whiz-bang chicken plucker, I cannot wait to see how these things taste. I'm very excited about that. So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and we will catch you later.